Hello beautiful people! In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys things I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale. Now there's a lot that I need to catch you up on. Um, I just moved, I'm in a new space, so the new background. This may or may not stay. I'm unsure of the setup um, slash how I'm going to do it. Um, I have a big window right here to this side of me, but I'm currently facing a corner just because I'm just, I don't know. The background might change uh, from video to video going forward for a little bit just until I get settled. Same with the lighting. I have my same lights that I always use, um, but if I'm going to film with natural light, which I might do for some makeup tutorials, um, that could be fun. But yeah, um, the last two videos that I uploaded were pre-filmed because I was in the middle of moving. I had to stay with a family member for a couple weeks just so the paint fumes could escape my apartment so I could come back with my bird. Um, but I am here and I am ready to show you guys what I bought. Of course, I moved over the VIB sale. I did purchase some things. I did end up returning some things, which I'll go over. Um, but I have a couple handful of products sitting in front of me here that I ended up keeping and that I do like. Um, pretty much none of it except for one thing is in boxes because I have used it, I have tested it, so I can give you uh, first impressions while I'm showing you guys the products. But I have a glass of wine here and I have Sebastian on my knee because he is not being very happy, he's not loving the space yet, it's taking him a little longer to adjust. Anyways, alright, let's just get right into it. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to mention is, I did mention in the video before that I was going to pick up a brush set because I have been wanting some new crease brushes. I decided to just, just narrow it down and just get the two brushes, or the one brush, that I really wanted and that was a new crease brush. And this is actually the Sephora Pro Crease Brush here. Let me just grab the box one sec. So this is the box here it came in. It is the number 24, and this was 30% off. I just put this little spoolie at the end because I don't really like the way it's tapered. I don't, I'm don't. i not used to holding brushes that are tapered, so I added this to the bottom just to give it a little more grip, but it's dirty because I used it. Uh, but this is the brush here. I absolutely love this brush. First of all, not only is it really soft, and the top of the brush is tapered in such a way that it doesn't leave any harsh lines whatsoever. Um, if I have a brush to compare it to, I would say it's a really smaller version of the MAC 224. Now I use this brush for outer crease work here when I want to blow something out, but this brush is perfect for the inner crease here. I don't get any harsh edges anymore. Um, that was obviously the culprit of the brush I was using. But if you can see here, so that is the size difference there. Obviously this one I believe is more of, I'm not sure if it's natural or synthetic. It doesn't say, and I didn't. This is synthetic, and I'm not too sure what this is. I'm not sure if this is natural hair or not, um, but I just wanted to reference the 224 just for size comparison. Um, but I absolutely love this brush. A part of me wishes I got one more, but at the same time, one is fine. I can wash it. It's not a big deal. All right, moving right along. The next thing I got is, I guess I'll just do these ones here. I got the little Lawless Forget the Filler uh, Trio uh, gloss thing here. I don't have them in the bag because I took the, sorry, the box because I took them out and used them pretty much right away because I was so excited to get these. So the one I have today on my lips is the Velvet Shade. That's this really beautiful mauve color right here. Uh, they're really clear, not clear, but they're sheer, sheer gloss, but they have a little bit of a tint to them. And of course, um, just the regular one, this one is called... Rosy Outlook. This one's called Velvet, and then the more pink one, the baby pink one, is called Daisy Pink. And that one looks like this. It's really goopy. I love these glosses though. And the one thing I really like the fact about this gloss here versus the bigger size one is the wand on this is more shaped. For, I mean, I have small lips. The doe foot applicator on the big guy, the doe foot's massive. I mean, if she made that doe fit smaller, I would be happy, but I actually really like these ones for that reason. The fact that um, the doe fit smaller, uh, the gloss formula is the same as the original, and I thought this was a really great purchase, and I absolutely love it. Moving right along. Okay, the next thing I picked up was the Fenty Cream in Peach Face. No, what is this called? Resting Peach Face, I think, is what it's called. 
Resting peach face. Yeah, resting peach face. I have all the empty cardboard boxes on my bed here, so if you see me looking over, that's what I'm looking at. But as far as these go, I do like them. I do like the blush. This is what the blush looks like right here. It gives a very um, peachy, hopefully the camera picks it up fine. But it gives a really nice peachy tint to the cheeks. It's pretty pigmented. Um, I like her other cream blushes. So that's why I got this one because I really enjoy it. And I've never tried her uh, cream lip gloss. This one is a little darker than I anticipated. The wand is massive, which is why I was so grateful for the wand to be smaller than these ones because this is a little bit too big for me, uh, but it is what it is. Here is what the color looks like there. It's a little darker than I anticipated, but I can work with it. Like I can mix it with like a nude lipstick or mix it with another nude gloss. Um, let me just wipe my swatch off of my hand. Um, I've never tried the cream formula and it's kind of different from her other formula, I think. It's not as sticky, which, uh, I mean, depending on if you like sticky glosses or not, I am unfortunate, not unfortunately, but I'm one of the minority that does like sticky glosses. These ones are sticky. Anyways, so I got that and I do like it. All right, the next product that I picked up in the sale is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. This palette, I mean, it's beautiful. A lot of reviews have been online. I've seen several of them. Um, this palette is gorgeous on the inside. I love all the different textures this palette gives. I have used, I think, pretty much every single shade in this palette. Sebastian, no. Um, so I have developed some thoughts. I do like this palette. Um, my favorite shades are the blissful shade here. I love the shade Energized right here. Um, what else do I like? The shade Quartz is really beautiful. This shade I wore all over my lid uh, with a pink lipstick and it was beautiful. This shade has like, it has like a white but silver, like on the finger it looks like it has a gold tip, but on my eyes it was pink, but like when you turned your head it had like a clear, not clear, but like a white and like silver base. It was just the most interesting color. I don't have any other colors like this. It's very pretty. Um, it's like not as intense as some of the other colors here, like Energized and Moon Magic. I mean, they're different form formulations, sorry. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to do a video with a couple looks on this, my version. I mean, I know there's a lot of other videos on YouTube right now with people giving their first impressions, you know, the looks, but I think I still want to put my videos out on it just because I do like the palette. And um, I was on the fence whether I was going to return return it or not, just because I feel like all the looks pull like a pink or like a purple or like a blue, especially with the um, with the purples here. But I like other colors in this palette. I'm just trying to justify whether keeping it for the price is worth it. I probably will because I do love like the colors in this palette are beautiful, but some of them are really similar to the Natasha Jonah Retro, which I still absolutely love. Um, the This is not a comparison video, so I don't know why I'm going into such depth, but I can't help myself. But here's what these two palettes look side by side. So they have similarities. They also have um, their differences also. I don't think they're the same at all, but they do have some similarities. Anyways, um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna, those are the next videos I'm gonna film next are, a, two tutorials, I'll probably do two in one video, on the Rose Quartz palette. Um, I love all the shades in there, some of them are different, um, but I love them all for different reasons, like, you know, if you had two kids, you love them both, but for different reasons. Is that a stupid analogy? I don't know. Alright, and the next product, I ended up buying a couple things and then returning them. So the money that I returned, I was like, well, instead of getting my money back, I can just, you know, go ahead and get another thing. Now, this palette was a little pricier than I had in, in originally anticipated on spending, but with me returning the products that I did return, I was like, you know what, I already spent the money, it's fine, let's just get it. It is the NARS, I don't even know what this is, uh, the cheek palette. First of all, the packaging is just so cute on this, like I love the little raised ribbons on it, like it's just adorable. And the inside too is just like so cute. Um, I was really looking for a blush 
during this sale. I have blushes, but I just wanted something new. You know when you've been using the same makeup for so long, you just want something new? I wanted a new blush. And I like the fact that this gives you a couple different tones in here. Um, I'm still testing out to make to see if these all look completely different on the cheeks. I think the only one I haven't actually used yet is this one in the highlight, but I've used these ones um, a couple times each, I believe. But yeah, I can uh, use these products in a video coming up, just so you can uh, see them in action. But all these colors take a little bit to build up, but once you build, once you get it going, I think it's the formula. It's like, it's not powder. It's like one of those, like, jelly, jelly formulas. Um, but yeah, I can do a tutorial and uh, put that in so you can see it in action. They all have a, a sheen on your cheeks, so none of them are matte. So if you don't like matte blushes... I mean, if you only like matte blushes, this palette's not going to be for you. I believe this highlight is a little bit too dark on my cheeks, so I might have to just use that as an eyeshadow, but... And the last thing that I purchased, I believe, was this skincare thing. I wanted to try, to, I wanted to try a new moisturizer, and I thought this set from Biosense was, um, fun. Uh, I have used this product and I do really like it. I love the texture. I love the way it feels when it goes on your skin. This was a squalene and a lactic acid. Uh, facial serum exfoliates skin overnight. I like the way this feels when it goes on and the next day my skin feels soft as if it did exfoliate, which is beautiful. Um, this Biosan Squalene Vitamin C Rose Oil is also really nice. I don't use this um, the way it's directed. Like it, They tell you to use this morning and night, I believe they tell you to use it underneath your, this instructions aren't here and I'm not going to waste my time. Anyways, um, so I use this when my skin gets really dry, I put it on my cheeks because my skin gets dry when the winter months hit and the colder months hit. And then this moisturizer here, I do like this, I have tried it once or twice, I'm still using my uh, Fresh Lotus Cream. So I bought this one as kind of like to try instead when the other one is used up. But yeah, the inside is just a white cream. I'm not going to bother opening it because it's just a white cream. Who cares? Uh, but yeah, after showing you those things, that is all that I bought. Hey guys, so I forgot to mention when I was doing my VIB haul earlier, the two products that I actually returned. The first product I decided to try was the Rare Beauty... It was three of her cream blushes in like a tra travel, not travel size, but like those mini sizes. Um, I wish I loved them. I tried to love them so much, but every time I put them on my cheeks, they turned orange on me. Like, a, not like actual like pumpkin orange, but like they, the blush went on the orange side, which is not exactly my favorite thing to happen when I'm putting on blush, especially not like a pink or a neutral color. Um, so that's what I exchanged for the... I'm drawing a blank, but I'll put the name of it right here. And the other product that I tried, the other blush that I tried, was the Huda Beauty Glowish. I tried the berry shade. And when I put it on, it just did not look any different from any other berry shade that I already had. So I decided to take that money and put it towards that blush palette. Oh, that's what I bought. So I, I returned those two blush duos. Um, well, not those two blush duos, but those two blush purchases and I put it towards the NARS just to see if I like that because you know I'm, I'm, I was on the hunt to find uh, a new blush. Anyways back to the rest of the video. Um, I do have a drugstore haul and one new product that I absolutely love. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on that I believe just because this one is getting quite long and I wanted to separate my drugstore and my Sephora haul. Alright guys thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the little things that I picked up during this uh, the most recent VIB sale. I don't think I'm going to pick anything up for the Black Friday sale. I don't even know if that's happening yet or not. I don't even know what date is today. Anyways, anyways, let me guys let me know if you guys purchased anything from the VIB sale. If any of the products that I purchased, you purchased also. And what are your thoughts on them? Um, but yeah, thank you again for watching. Please bear with me as I adjust my setup. And hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.